we're going to find the cosecant of theta if tangent of theta equals 3 fourths. So the cosecant, remember, uh, first of all, that I can't just use 3 fourths. I'm going to have to draw a picture. And the reason I can't use 3 fourths is because the cosecant is related to the hypotenuse and the opposite. It's the reciprocal of the sine, and the tangent is related to the opposite and the adjacent. But I can find the hypotenuse by drawing a picture with the opposite and the adjacent and the hypotenuse. So here's my picture. Ready? I like to draw it on a unit circle. And notice the tangent is positive, so 3 fourths. So that means I'm going um, 3 fourths means the opposite side of the angle. So here's my angle right here, theta. The opposite side is 3. That's right here. Mm -hmm. And the adjacent side is 4. And of course, we know that we have a 3, 4, 5 triangle. If we didn't know that, we could have used Pythagorean's theorem to do it. But we would have gotten 5. C equals 5 if we did that, right? Square root of 25. And so H is 5. So now let's find the cosecant of theta. Well, the cosecant of theta is the hypotenuse over the opposite. So the cosecant of theta equals 5 thirds. There's your answer. That's it. That's it. Let's try another one. Alright, so we have secant is equal to 2, which means 2 over 1, which means this is the hypotenuse and this is the adjacent on some mm -hmm. triangle. And I need to find the cotangent is the adjacent over the opposite. So let's draw our, let's draw a triangle in. Remember, notice that this is positive, so I could draw it in the first quadrant, and the hypotenuse is 2, and the adjacent is 1. And so what's my opposite side? Here's my theta right here. My opposite side, let's, let's write our formula out. Let's call this x. Actually, let's call it o. o squared, no, o looks too much like 0. Let's just call it x x squared plus 1 squared equals 2 squared. That's Pythagorean's theorem, mm -hmm. which means x squared equals 4 minus 1, which is 3, which means x equals square root of 3. So now I can find it. The opposite is 1, and the, I'm sorry, adjacent Jason. is 1, and the opposite of root is root 3. Now I, I still have to do some work here. You have to multiply it by root 3 on the top. Mm -hmm. And put this in red. And then it'd be root 3 over. This is called rationalizing the denominator, and there's your answer.